Hi guys, we've got this Infinity Cloud. One click back up. This one's 128 gigabyte storage. You can back up all your important files with a single click. Nothing to download. It's quite a big inch little manual here. Quite a big manual. Then we'll back up. MP4 files, music, a product key, which uh, I think I'll probably best keep that covered up. And there we go. It's quite a fad boy. Yeah, it's quite a biggie. Just push that, it comes out and that's ready to put into a computer, your laptop or what have you. And a USB cable if you want to plug it in. It's got USB-C. Good, good. Very up to date. No doubt that's if you want to connect it maybe into a device that you've got USB-C only. Plug it in. Unfortunately, I've got this error message. Now, this is kind of quite common when even when I just use a memory card from a camera or something. But what we can do is we can ex so you can get into the folder there. So that's fine. Uh, I'm going to run this Infinity Cloud exe executable. So now I've got to enter the product key and activate and it worked. I managed to type that all in about 20 characters, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 characters and then get anyone wrong. Down in the bottom corner, I'm going to change the language, click the arrow, you've got English, German, French and Portuguese. Click start. So when you first start up, you may want to go to custom if you don't want it to scan all your drives. You may not want to back up any music because it's already backed up. But you do get a quality option of how to back up your music. You can back up like MP3s, ROG files, media files, or lossless, the WAV files, original recordings. Uh, same with videos, you may not want to back them up. Or maybe that is what you want to back up. You might just think, oh, I've only got MP4s so I want to back up. You may want to just back up uh, photographs. You've taken some photographs recently and they were, say, in JPEG. You want to back up your documents, you can keep them secure. So you've got WordPress, PDF files, your spreadsheet, Excel. So you can select those, you click Start and it will go through your computer and have a look. But you can, here, you can put custom extensions. So there's a files extensions that aren't listed here. This will potentially find them. Yes, once you've selected the files you want, so that might be your documents, then you would click start. And then it's searching for the files. It says how many folders it's searched and how many files uh, it's already saved date. On the top menu, you have an undo. And then you've got developer options. So this must be like an index page that you could potentially edit and put some headers in there and things. I can't imagine too many people wanting to use that. Doesn't say where this is... Um, reclaiming the space whether it's from the USB stick or whether it's from my computer drive all it says is reclaim reclaim this space now going back to the computer it's got a backup here and there's loads of things in there but I didn't potentially want them backed up and I don't know how to remove them the only way I can think of is deleting them 
does take a little while to delete, only 200 meg. It was almost going to back up my whole computer. Which, so basically, if you want to, you need to back up in one go, uh, the, everything, for example, the data, then this is really good. It does seem a bit difficult to use. It's not very clear on what's being deleted afterwards. If you want to clear or clear a backup, I think the software is improving. You can send individual files to the Infinity Cloud. That is basically will be there whatever USB device you have in. So I can literally send folders. But I can't send a drive. Here's one that's 300 megabytes. So I'll drag that over. Well actually you can right click on that. Send to Infinity Cloud. And this on USB 3, so it's 36, 40, 50. For that 300 meg, that was pretty quick. Okay, I've selected a gigabyte of files. <laughs> 40, 50, 60. I mean, that's quite fast. So when you finish with the drive, to go to this USB icon and click that and it says eject card reader Infinity Cloud is listed underneath that although it's greyed out so I have to click the actual card reader thing and now I can unplug that 